Hi again, everyone. We're ready to start with Chapter 9. Uh, chapter 9 is all about development. Uh, when you think of development, lots of people think of babies. But actually, development is not just babies, although babies are a very cool to topic and we're going to talk about it a lot. Um, development is about everything that happens to us as we change from birth to death. So there are lots of ways we change. Actually, when babies are growing inside of their mothers, they are developing a lot. It's called prenatal development. After they're born, they go through infant development, where they first learn to see and hear and touch and taste and smell. And then we have child development in the early years and going into uh, preschool. And then we have development that goes through adolescence as we grow up and grow into our teenage years. And then adult development and finally development in old age. So all through our lives, we grow and change. Now, an important topic in this chapter is the three main developmental areas of change. So we're going to talk about changes first in physical development. That's changes in our biology, our body, and our brain. Also changes in cognitive development. And we learned in chapter one that cognition is how we think. So how we think changes across all of these developmental time spans. And lastly, we're going to talk about changes in social and emotional development, changes in how we interact with friends, family members, and also in our emotional responses to things. So these are the three main areas we're going to focus on as we go through this unit. Hopefully in this unit, you're going to learn more about developmental psychology, but also apply it to your own life to understand how you're changing, how your parents are changing, if you have children, we're going to focus on how they're changing. And maybe you have siblings who are still adolescents or young adults, and we're going to understand how they change as well. In addition, if you're working in a profession or planning on working in a profession where you work with people of different ages, this chapter is going to give you insights on how to work with those different people, what they're going to be good at, and what their challenges are, and how you can work with them to improve their abilities to think and grow and emotionally respond and socially connect in all those areas. This is a great chapter. It's one of my favorites, and I look forward to talking with you about it very soon. Bye!